Hey, welcome to Sarees are my passion. I get many queries about what is the profit margin in saree business. Although I reply to many of the people, what is the profit margin is based on certain criteria and targeted audience. So many youngsters who are thinking to start the business, they really get confused like what is the profit margin and stuff. So so here is my husband uh, Kiran who also deals with many uh, clients abroad. So we thought rather than discussing alone, like he also deal with many abroad clients. So let us discuss ahead, I thought, which will give a very broad and clear picture for many of them who are thinking to start the sari business. Yeah. So uh, what is the thing uh, in uh, Indian uh, uh, business? Uh, because since I uh, deal with many abroad clients, I see a lot of... Uh, uh, you know difference between the way we approach uh, the things uh, whether it is a profession or whether it is a business uh, the way we approach uh, the things uh, is quite uh, similar to many asian countries uh, versus uh, western countries they do uh, things in a different way of course this is not anything new uh, you know many nris uh, or in case even indians who have uh, traveled abroad uh, you will uh, know that there's a lot of things they do in a different way and uh, their uh, type of approach uh, will uh, you know help uh, setting any businesses and stuff like that versus uh, you know our sort of uh, system here and uh, of course uh, when it comes to a question of making profit in business uh, unfortunately uh, we indians uh, uh you know uh, you know especially when it comes to let's take example like even uh, sari business um, so when it comes to any business uh, uh you know there are some percentage of uh, uh, people uh, maybe with the mba they may start a business and uh, their approach will be bit different also there are also situations uh, housewives may just start they may ha- must have done some graduation and they may think about starting a very small business at home and sometimes uh, somebody may have enough capital uh, to start their, their own business to start their own business their husbands may fund them or their parents the girls parents may fund them and then they can uh, uh, they may think even to start a boutique and uh, yeah. do it in a large scale okay so when such situation comes uh, the most important question is uh, they think about uh, the business model the only thing about the focus is only the profit, profit margin. margin okay uh, day and day out they think how much money uh, do i make let's assume they have uh, working somewhere and they have quit uh, from that company they are getting a salary of 25k or uh, 30k or else maybe just 10k they just immediately dream about how much i do money in this uh, business and that's about it so unfortunately i seen uh, uh, yeah sometimes even uh, she shares uh, some uh, uh, comments clients. Uh, clients as well as even comments uh, uh we do get even from guys as well uh, asking about this stuff what is the profit margin in sari business yeah that- especially from uh, yeah guys, big, guys, guys and as well as beginners okay so they ask uh, just a blunt question uh, without having any other uh, insight see that question itself tells uh, how much uh, you are not uh, prepared or ready for the thing yet and uh, here is where see uh, in business uh, there are uh, multiple ways to go uh, of course you can plan and do things and of course you can take also risks uh, and then you can uh, put your feet in and then you can start and then of course you will get some profit margin based on your uh, uh you know your way of calculations <laughs> what you think and uh, some people also do this uh, they may ask others uh, how much profit i can put on this particular uh, material or something like that see here is where uh, when it comes to a question of uh, selling vegetables <laughs> it depends on the current market price suddenly today tomatoes may sell at 10 bucks a kg kg and tomorrow it may sell at 30 bucks a kilo or something like that so uh, when it comes to sari business uh, you know we get this kind of questions about uh, profit margin the big thing about it is uh, what exactly i mean although she covered uh, multiple episodes uh, again they don't focus on what is that they want to sell okay they want to sell a cheap sari 80 bucks sari okay you can put so and so profit margin and you can make some money or else uh, you want to sell some 50k sari you want to sell some 1 lakh 2 lakh sari then 
your profit margin also changes and moreover you should understand the more niche it is the more uh, you know hand woven hand made niche rare product which cannot be made easily quite easily okay these are the products of course uh, at every step the rarity of the product will also increase the price okay? the uniqueness uniqueness okay and if you have something like a mass produced in some kind of power loom or some 100 rupees sari i'm saying the wholesaler price if you have something at 100 rupees uh, sari you will have competition you will have this road or someone will sell that road someone will sell and of course due to the competition you will get around 20% or something like that so the profit margin it all depends on the product what you are selling and of course uh, that's what she time to time mentions at the same time it also depends on how niche is the product and to whom you are trying to target so suppose if you are uh, selling a 100 rupees sari the 100 rupees sari will be let's assume you are putting one is to one profit 100 rupees sari will be retailed around 200 rupees or 250 rupees assume you are given uh, some room for bargaining okay so 250 rupees you tell and then give it for 200 rupees 200 rupees sari who buys it just use your common sense who buys this 200 rupees sari okay let it be some uh, gifting purpose or something if not really it is meant for some type of uh, you know really meant for some labor class actually as simple as that so it is like you know this is the thing you should keep in account and assume okay you are getting one is to one profit by selling this way let's assume per day you are selling around 30 saris by selling this way or else let's assume per day you are selling some 10 or 20 saris if you are having very uh, you know uh, volume on a certain uh, basis this like is... monthly so and so saris how many you need to sell to get some man- you know amount of money it also depends and uh, not only on uh, depends on particular sari it depends on how many customer you have to get also right yes. for so much bulk you need to get so much of customers, customers and moreover you will have extreme competition this is what is the garbage everyone sells so it is the question you want to sell like something which is common garbage which is available everywhere, everywhere which is or done. you need to sell something a niche product okay so this is what this is what it is so if you think about a very much uh, sophisticated uh, clients this is also one issue i see in businesses so they tell hamare paas sab kuch hai hamara mall uh, bahut hi badhiya hai yeah. and they also expect everybody to be their uh, you know uh, everybody to be their uh, you know customers so this won't work out okay so this really doesn't work out okay the point is you need a business but at the same time what is the thing is you need to focus a specific type of audience that doesn't mean i'm not saying somebody who is rich should not come to your shop or somebody who is poor should not come to your shop your products should have certain uh, targeted audience and this is what exactly although she mentioned when we get such uh, emails uh, we are even uh, of course apart from uh, comments we do of course get uh, such emails but this is what it is unless until you don't think about this aspect you open the shop for everyone but do you think do you get uh, regularly somebody like Deepika Padukone or Aishwarya Rai knocking to your shop no it won't come okay so they purchase at some other way they purchase in some other you know niche products which you and I cannot cater most of the times with this type of mediocre approach okay so this is why you have to be very very clear if your shop is having a product up to maximum 5k uh, retail price to series you can expect so and so only the customers and also you need to sell in bulk but let's assume you are having a sari which is around 2 lakhs 3 lakhs is the you know retail price nice. You get uh, five, six customers a month also. You can make something substantial profit. You can easily make around 10 lakhs profit from that. And it is very niche. You you need to get only four or five such customers and you can make around 10 lakhs profit. You don't need to do donkey work. So again, it's a question you need to do donkey work or you need to do smart work. Okay, you need to think all these things. Okay, fine. You want to put something which is quite expensive for that you need to have some type of uh, ecosystem ambience ambience so the ambience in the store is important you need to have that type of wrap or your lifestyle should match the posh uh, store 
the posh area it depends yeah. it, it depends on the store where it is situated often you can see in bangalore you can find uh, you know such t- stores uh, uh, will be quite common in places like indranagar and the stuff like that and you assume you have a house at some other location and you want to have a store in a wrong place nobody is going to touch you because uh, in and around you know of your locality you will find people like you know more or less of that uh, you know class and they don't buy these things quite often so these are the things quite important uh, when it comes to you know when it comes to a small question like profit margin it boils down to all these things and moreover in india we have this copycat system you have someone else is doing that just like that they do that copycat stuff and um, somebody is doing in that uh, next uh, house uh, this uh, you know person also tends to do the same copycat stuff say suppose uh, today she releases a video we often see that some housewife uh, who may be doing something about uh, uh, cooking channel the entire channel is about cooking and but they talk suddenly about some sarees and uh, about sari business and stuff like that the problem is they are not either professional they are not into that it's just a hobby that they are uh, doing some type of youtube channel but uh, what happens is they tend to put things as if you know they are into the stuff but you uh take that uh, input and then you invest what happens is tomorrow who is going to lose the money is uh, end of the day it is going to be you so that is why when you are uh, you know starting uh, something you need to take care of all these aspects uh, okay it's just not about profit margin it's a profit margin of what is it 1 kg of aloo you want to sell 1 uh, kg of tomato you want to sell or uh, it's a question of uh, you know you want to sell uh, you know some uh, swiss cheese or uh, you know or else uh, caviar or something like that which is as uh, one no it is quite expensive caviar the real caviar is uh, quite very expensive you will get fake ones of course i'm not saying that at the same time even if you consider uh, you know stuff like tuna or something like that it is quite expensive okay so that's that's where it boils down so do you want to sell something very very niche or you want to sell some uh, you know <laughs> uh, uh, tomato or alu kind of stuff if you sell tomato and alu you will get money based on that only even if you put one is to one profit you will not get any big money versus you sell something very niche which is very rare to find uh, you have the other challenge of getting such type of customers uh, to your uh, store or to your business let it be a business at the home store whatever nonsense let it be amazon whatever it is okay how do you get them so this is a mentality or uh, this is an approach you want to be a roadside pani puri wala if you want to be a roadside pani puri wala you will have some approach you can expect some type of business per day i will do some 100 to 200 plates and per plate i earn some 5 rupees and from there you can work it out per month how much you can earn or per year how much you can earn versus you have all the uh, you know resources available you want to start some three star hotel or a five star hotel or a huge uh, themed restaurant it depends what is that you want to start if you want to start something like a five star hotel you don't need to approach like a pani puri wala and if you want to be like a pani puri wala you need to not think about how the five star uh, stuff is done so see the same pani puri which is sold on the street it is around 20 25 rupees okay and if you go to a luxury hotel the same pani puri it will be priced around 1000 rupees also so it depends on the ambience and depends on the types of customer the targeted audience that's why in many of my videos i have told please concentrate on types of customer when you are thinking to cater on profitable margin profitable margin not only depends on types of customer second it depends on the product what you are selling if you are selling a cotton saree worth 1 lakh rupees also again it depends and if you are targeting a silk saree it depends again so you guys have to be very clear on who you want to target it depends on the place it depends on the quality of the product it depends on the uniqueness as he has told about niche market and the interiors and the ambience it all boils down so you people have to be very very clear who whom to 
target that itself you have to be very very clear not about the profit margin profit margin usually in india anyone any youngsters i really get many youngsters as a client they get really confused who are i mean we do get mails even from graduates graduates that is what also. is more shocking i think very bad see if okay. there are uneducated let them not do fine. mba okay fine they have done bcom or somebody have done even be also it is like of you know we get really shocked the way they think it is like they need to first focus on uh, what is the product they are selling what is the own. business model they don't business understand model, yeah. first is the business model they don't they fail especially when i ask them also they really don't know they see, tell this uh, the another problem is see, this is not a youtube channel that uh, she is doing some uh, you know everything else uh, home stuff and then uh, sitting like you know some type of home this thing she is a professional uh, who consult uh, at the same time i am a professional who do in uh, of course i don't uh, do this mainstream i work in it so but at the same time i do consult uh, for abroad clients the big problem with indian it for instance is uh, in india we don't have this uh, you know thing like consulting stuff okay we don't have that uh, at all we don't have any counseling and consulting platform at all in india apart from doctors or apart something. from doctors they work in five hospitals so they do that consulting uh, stuff they have their own clinic they consult evening they go to some hospital they consult over there again morning they go to some other uh, hospital they consult there but when it comes to other fields we don't have much of uh, this aspect of course so you have lawyers and other uh, Uh, you know no what happens is uh, see their parents will give advices in india yeah. or their sister so or their friends they will be the friends, consultants for them or their friends, friends or best uh, you know best buddies or something best like buddies that. or else <laughs> well wishers or their uncles or their aunts or all these people will fill the gap of being a consultant and or being uh, some counseling and uh, stuff like that we don't have this platform at all in india so this is why if you think about me although i uh, work in it i don't get any indian uh, clients at all 99.99% i do get only abroad uh, clients uh, i do get abroad ceos or ctos but the thing is they have that type of an uh, approach they do consult who is an expert in that domain uh, an architect or expert they come and consult in india what happens is uh, it just uh, just like that uh, they assume you give something in a material form then i need to pay money you give something like a consulting stuff why should i pay money like that i mean we have our own way of approaching things Uh, there are few things uh, which works out they consult astrologers uh, and other stuff so they are okay for that or uh, they go for a doctor if they fall ill and uh, again it is fine but when it comes to other things you don't have any uh, such opportunities here and uh, whenever uh, she gets uh, clients um, she gets uh, somebody who have done mba okay so they are not coming for any business kind of knowledge uh, but they are coming for uh, you know the domain knowledge okay so two things especially if you think uh, she consults as far as i seen uh, is uh, she consults uh, you know businesses who are uh, you know an expert in uh, conducting business they know how to do business so th- it is not something they are looking for her inputs on that they are looking for her to give uh, inputs on technical aspects and other than that uh, she also gets sometimes uh, somebody who have uh, domain knowledge uh, technical knowledge they may be even uh, nft uh, guys uh, who have enough domain knowledge you don't need to talk about fabrics they know well and uh, you know things advance but they are uh, uh, looking forward when it comes to conducting the business they want you know the business inputs in that specific domain so this is what it is so as far as i seen when it comes to a question of when she gets any abroad clients some con- clients are in business already they know how to do they can even import from bangladesh and stuff like that they are not uh, you know bothered about the business aspect but they are when it comes to salaries they need that technical inputs from her at the same time when it comes uh, you know somebody who is in uh, you know fashion or something sometimes they need that you know business insights as a part of consulting in india what is the thing happens is uh, 
everywhere you go uh, the wholesalers <laughs> uh, what they tell uh, you can uh, really experience this if you are very new you go to a wholesaler he will sell uh, he will say that assume you are telling i need some 100 sarees or 50 sarees i want to buy in bulk and you talk uh, some uh, you bargain and you decide some price he will tell always hamara paas bahut hi acha maal hai bahut hi badhiya maal hai hamare paas sab kuch milega like that something he will tell <laughs> and uh, what happens is uh, after you gain some knowledge you will find that uh, even his price is wrong even his product may have deliberately or not knowingly you may get lot of defects okay lot of defects and you will get end of the day bad name from your customers because of your foolishness and some of the even suppliers what is the mistakes they are doing is like they are giving this a uh, damaged products in a bulk Yeah. For example if you're ordering a saree through online in a bulk many of my clients when i discuss with them what happens is they are telling that initially they send okay okay later later all damaged ones in between 1 2 1 2 1 2 they are selling out of sense uh, 10 uh, sarees assume you get two damaged sarees two or three damaged so, sarees even tell that damage i'll get back okay fine you are getting let's assume you are getting from uh, you know ap kolkata or somewhere to bangalore or chennai or something like that let's assume you get this type of damaged sarees okay he will tell he will get back but th- you need to parcel this damaged sarees you need to send Sense. them back and then again you need to get free, fresh stock and in that fresh stock again you are going to get this uh, you know damaged pieces so you can imagine the way he you are entangled with that uh, supplier so these are the things which happen so okay this is what this not your parents will discuss <laughs> not your yeah. friends will discuss not your uh, husband will discuss so these are all the things we do discuss when i get a consultation on this so you have to be very careful uh, even in profit margin not only in the c profit margin it's a very very broad topic i can't sit in one video and tell about all these things the reason is see it depends on uh, various sarees then it depends on uh, various targeted audience then it depends on uh, how much stocks you have and how much is the return and if it stays overstock and uh, even after she shot about the number of stocks we got some questions on uh, uh, how many uh, sarees we can keep in uh, stock stock and so if you think uh, as this itself has the answer you want to sell 200 rupees sarees so you need to keep maybe 50 60 100 200 300 or 500 sarees you need minimum you want to sell a 2 crore i mean 2 lakh saree you can keep around 10 that's more than enough and if you have niche customers you can sell in any big large hotel or at your premises in your shop whatever it is through contacts uh, you know just one two is enough they can see five sarees in that two sarees they will buy and uh, that's about it sometimes five sarees you have all five sarees they will buy and go okay so even we have seen such examples okay they get really mad uh the, there are some you know very good ones uh, you know which uh, will have that justification one feel like paying you tell 50k they feel like definitely it is worth to pay that money and some will be around 1 lakh 2 lakhs whatever they feel it is worth to pay uh, provided it uh, also matches that client's taste so you should also focus on that aspect are you getting something which matches that client taste okay so don't imagine yourself that you like them and everybody should like it is not actually okay each individual wants needs preferences are very different so when you are doing this in business you you can't take only your choice and you can't sell it so, so you, you cannot go to the road and propose every girl and expect her to agree you same way you know girl cannot go to every guy and expect him to agree her okay so each uh, there will be some match and finally you feel that uh, person is matched for you and finally you get married okay same way when you are selling something somebody may not like even this video someone will give a dislike someone will give like so it's like that someone may not still understand the what they are talking about so these things are very common so when it comes to you know that's what when it comes to the business uh, you need to be very clear about uh, you know about uh, you know how you take the 
business ahead a many of my clients who have come and uh, i generally tell that when you decide upon the business model later we can think of the profit margin or something yeah the so, problem is they prioritize this profit margin it is not it's not the right approach at all okay so unfortunately we are uh, many asian countries not only india there is no question for passion you mm-hmm. will find often in uh, china and uh, japan as well when uh, someone talks about uh, i have a specific pa- passion and i want to get into some profession based on this passion or something they won't uh, give any room there there is no such thing called passion the main important focus of profession or any profession is uh, uh, making money and that's the only priority it's all about there is no passion comes into the picture unfortunately we we asians are tuned you know to think uh, you know this way actually um, if you're opening a store in if you're opening a store the profit margin is different if you're opening a home based business the profit mm. margin is different and if you're opening in a luxury hotel the profit margin is different and, and assume well you as have a business mo- business uh, establishment and you are uh, uh, keeping some type of temporary stall in the stall, hotel yeah. uh, you need to pay for that uh, rent uh, advertisements yeah. and so many and other uh, stuff. stuff and uh, in between after that again you need to pay regular uh, this thing for the store, store and you deduct everything and then that becomes your profit margin <laughs> okay finally what uh, you need to decide because sometimes uh, if you are putting them in uh, special events you need to cover those charges okay when you are selling some saree in a store for 3000 rupees if you are selling them uh, in some type of event in a hotel or something you need to put some more uh, additional uh, price uh, because you can't expect just like that customers will come it, it may come it may not come you need to do some type of you know you need to take a decision what can be done okay. so not only that kiran what happens is even if it's a very very big brand luxury brand also what happens is they do this fashion show right fashion show they need to shell out the model price they have to pay it and costume designer they have to hire and so many other stuff this we can't uh, generally uh, discuss in um, one uh, video or one video or something, or something. it's There a very not huge some, uh, topic youtube video talking about some five makeup tips or uh, some Uh, you know cooking tips or something this is something it's a question the career what you are selling is a business first second thing is your career also so you are deciding your career and your entire life and your investment so no, this is so far more have the they don't have this uh, long term and short term goals they just mm. want to buy they a just want to sari from the local yes. store and come keep all the uh, stocks and they keep selling that's all and later they come and uh, say that my sarees are not getting sold or i'm not getting customers customers uh, yeah without you market without you do promotional activities or uh, without any background study background study why and should this model first of all why should they come for you okay if there is some 10 people are selling why they should come to you actually okay this is what it is you know so you need to study about your competitors and you need to do lot of things you need to do lot of things to see that what is that you are extra and you are special which not others are doing okay if you don't feel anything you are extra and anything you are special you need to compromise a lot uh, because you are not any more unique actually and one more thing what is the thing is they get something which is bulk which is sold this house next house other house other house this is <laughs> this is the this is what we have we we don't think of getting something unique and catering to a um, very high and no, sophisticated they don't, uh, customers they don't want to spend time in purchase only no yeah, that, they that want to, they cool. want to spend one uh, 10k parcel uh, get it from surat ahmedabad or west bengal no, no, from even AP what is happening is or somewhere in surat they are selling kanjipuram sarees which is 1500 rupees and all <laughs> they are telling pure kanjipuram hai madam ye saree uh, milta hai they are telling and they are selling for 500 rupees 1000 rupees which is hand loom they are telling so this is how it is the sari business in india so <laughs> so that's what uh, what is the thing is uh, you are a beginner uh, maybe you get fooled but if you are getting a customer who knows what he or she is buying he will not get fooled and he will uh judge you by this and never ever is going to touch you or your store anymore actually so from this you are go- going to permanently lose customers so let's assume you are having some issues in your business uh, 
take all these aspects into the picture and see that where is that goof up you have done where are the mistakes you have done and try to analyze them you can only do in business only once the mistake in job it is fine you can do some mistake they will tell uh, in appraisal next time don't do otherwise we will uh, fire you or something like that or else don't give promotion or increment something in business you make only one mistake and you are going to lose entire customer customers uh, chains that's it actually and, and even will... profit margin depends on hand whether you are selling a hand loom saree or whether you are selling a power loom saree or all these things right there are so many things when it comes to profit margin not in one stuff i can conclude this is what See, it is when it comes to this uh, you should imagine uh, when it comes to a product like maggi it's done in missions so naturally 12 rupees uh, top ramen or maggi whatever it is 12 rupees 14 rupees it is going to be cheap because it is uh, done in missions but when it comes to a question of you go and eat some fried noodles or fried rice in some restaurant it is going to be expensive because it is uh, done, done on a custom made and custom made and uh, it is also you need to cook rice or noodles whatever it is it is partly custom made and custom tailored for that restaurant team and other stuff so they need to pay a specific salary to the chef and restaurant ambience and other stuff so this is not needed for a product like maggi or top ramen or any such instant noodles because it is done Uh, bulk in factories in missions it is going to be cheap you compare maggi you compare britannia uh, mari or something mari biscuit 10 bucks you get so and so big biscuit you go to a bakery actually you buy a biscuit those unbranded those uh, cookies uh, uh, cookies how expensive it is you get good day this pack for around 10 bucks in a shop versus you go to a bakery you get this many biscuits he is going to charge 30 bucks. To 30 bucks to 25 to 30 bucks actually maybe because it is custom made Yeah, Sometimes. maybe somewhere it may be cheaper. I'm not saying we on on average we are telling in Bangalore you go and buy and these many biscuits. And depends on the uh, quality of the yeah what raw materials used and other stuff. So there is uh, this profit margin is a very very broad picture. You can uh, fail in business to cut short. You can fail in business because of wrong pricing itself. Very simple. and uh, without any uh, proper planning and copying somebody else <laughs> first of all because we do offer uh, that is one big mistake we do so copying someone you can definitely fail because they may have something and that may be their success formula but you copy them end of the day they will lose the customers so maybe even you will lose the customers and the customers will go to somewhere else actually so this is what it is so it, uh, you know um if you are very serious you need to think about this aspect if you are very casual i'm really getting bored apart from uh, you know in case if it is a housewife apart from cooking and uh, something i don't have any uh, work okay i want to buy some five series and uh, try to sell some five series you can try there is nothing wrong about it you don't need to do anything you can try put some 10% 20% or else 100% profit and you can try and each and every day you can learn uh, spend some time 3 4 years and finally you will uh, get to know some extent uh, of doing things but at the same time even after 3 4 years you will uh, there are also many people who will realize that nowhere it is working out and nowhere they are able to scale up still they don't know what to buy still they don't know how to sell still they don't know whom to sell uh, you know <laughs> you know things like that to do happen actually so right. if you are uh, getting any losses uh, you don't need to bother about because you are doing a very casual okay. stuff or if you are very much uh, want to do in a uh, structured way you want to do in step by step in a structured way take time analyze these aspects and uh, you know you will come out with a specific plan and uh, you can decide uh, you know what can be done see not all will be ready for taking any professional help it again depends so if it is a question like that take your time do some type of you know uh, sit and do some type of research and one more uh, you know last but not least one more thing they waste lot of time is about finding suppliers and stuff we often get to that this saree where it is purchased that saree where it is which purchased. shop should i get which then? shop should i get <laughs> you want to marry a girl you can see on the road everywhere you will find unmarried women most of the times okay so the point is how do you approach how do you get married is the most complex uh, you know thing rather than finding any unmarried girls okay go on the road everywhere you will find same way you go some uh, marketplace you will find the saree suppliers everywhere 
the point is you know <laughs> that is not the thing you go there everywhere you will find someone may make you may give you both fake ones and genuine ones someone may give you 100% fake ones someone may give you 100% genuine ones but may charge you more and you may be confused whether to take or not as since you are just started so stuff like this uh, do happen okay the, the thing is don't focus first and foremost about the profit margin profit margin second don't focus who should be your suppliers okay first and foremost you should focus why you should do business okay and <laughs> means yes i want to do business for earning money no you can do even job as well first you focus why you should do business okay are you capable of doing business second thing you can focus about what is your business structure is going to be okay who you should target what you should target what you should sell in this uh, what is the retail price go to a shop find and see the series uh, you will find what is the retail price of that series and one more thing is how you have to market that yeah. also they fail here yeah that also they fail uh, it is like uh, even big stores big brands they don't spend uh, money in uh, proper channels they spend something in uh, this thing at the same time so that's what this again uh, we don't have that creativity yet involved in our country someone have done something they all will do the same stuff actually this is not something i often see in uh, my abroad clients so they do much creative marketing which we indians generally lack they collaborate and do stuff they collaborate and uh, do stuff for they they more organize themselves in india it's like uh, let's assume we are selling sarees after this moment no other housewife who is also selling sarees will approach because they feel that we are competitors of them so <laughs> this is what let's assume we are taking youtube channels no other person taking youtube channels will see us as a sort of you know this thing they see mostly as a you know competitor or they think that okay let me take some inputs and let me also put off in my channel kind of they think okay. so this type of narrow minded approach we have unlike uh, which uh, in abroad they do coexist and they collaborate and they do things in a different way we don't have that uh, much over here happening okay so naturally uh, you will uh, operate in a nuclear fashion and uh, you need to take risks no they don't think in a broader sense here i feel yeah they work in nuclear fashion they work in only yes. they, yeah. they themselves and uh, Uh, any problem let me take a professional help uh, and let me take a professional help that. that is not there okay see let's assume your seller of course you can't talk your problems to other sellers okay openly how can you can talk okay to an extent you can talk with your suppliers but uh, again your supplier will take an advantage of you and uh, seeing your uh, stupidity foolishness he will also take some advantage of you Uh, with whom you will talk you will talk to your parents who are not into this at all with you will talk to your brothers and sisters who may be going for some job at something like that with whom you will talk actually so or with you will talk to your kids who are going to school so this is what it is so what is the thing is um, we don't have this type of a platform and uh, youtube is a it's a just a small doorway uh, but other than that uh, you can't task uh, you know you can't see a doctor's video in youtube and take medicines it's just about it so you need to when it comes to finally you know approaching a doctor you still have to get the clues in youtube and then still you need to approach a proper uh, physical doctor somebody who is nearby who you can go consult paying money and uh, you know stuff like that so we have to put uh, this type of approach otherwise uh, you know it's up to you you can do a casual one or else if you are doing something structured you need to do all these things actually so i hope uh, this will give a little bit of deeper hint. insight yeah. Oh, yeah hint and as well as deeper, deeper insight. insight and uh, you can uh, you know stop in case if you are thinking too much you are hurrying up stuff take your time and then you can uh, decide upon the thing so hope you guys uh, love this video so that's it for this video stay tuned have a nice day bye